Welcome back everybody. Today we are out in the shop again working on the Model A and uh, of course I still got plenty to do to the frame but uh, just for the heck of it we're going to work on the body. I figure why not. Um, I got plenty to do on both so I'll give you guys a look at what I'm doing here now. This is the uh, of course the back window on the Model A so I got kind of a somewhat of a plan here. I marked it out based on these uh, seams, factory seams on the, the actual car. And this still, this back window still has the factory seams on it. And I do believe this is a uh, 30 or 31, so it's a little bit different than this. But as far as I can tell, the, everything with the, uh, the contour appears the same. It's just a little bit bigger actually. So I figure the 30 and 31 probably had a uh, smaller hole in the roof. So, like I said, I'm gonna go off of those factory lines. I got some marked out here, both sides. Gonna get that cut out and then uh, hopefully this, this will fit in there. And then I can kind of cut this back body line out because the 3031s had that kind of a fancy body line right there. The uh, 28s, 29s never, never really had that. So like I said, we're just gonna do that. And, uh, and uh, hopefully, this back window fits the way the way I want it to. And uh, another thing I forgot to add, before I cut this piece out of here, I am going to uh, weld a support bracket right up in here. So that'll go up there, come to this side, and uh, right there. That'll keep everything from twisting whenever I cut it. And uh, hopefully nothing does twist too bad. Uh, being that, that back piece is really the only thing holding the top together. I really think it's a good idea to brace it. And I really don't think I need to brace it more than just the one because it's just that one holding it now. So should be okay. Like I said, gonna get that brace welded in there and then I'll go ahead and get that piece cut out. And then, uh, I mean, I really don't think you could mess this, this back window up more than it already is. So. We'll see if we can't uh, get this guy's work fixed up. Okay. I got my support piece welded in there. Now it's time to start chopping. Now, if my calculations are correct, the back window is gonna fit pretty damn good in there. I still gotta cut that body line out like I talked about, but as far as the uh, sides, should fit. We're gonna see right now. As good as you could ask it to go, I guess. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Starting to look more like a See, now you can actually see that contour that I want out of there, so. And this stuff, I mean, all this stuff's probably gonna get filled. I don't know what I'm gonna fill it with, probably weld or something. And then I'll just graft some sort of roof in there. But it's getting there. It's gonna cut out that back body line now. And uh, hopefully I don't get myself into too much trouble there. We'll see though. Okay, the back window is no longer just resting on there. It is finally a piece of the car, as you can see there. Just got it tacked in just to hold it in there. But you can see how much smaller the 3031 hole in the roof was compared to the 2829. So uh, now that I got that in there, I am, uh, these will eventually all get grinded down. You'll never even know those were there. 
but the inside is really where it's all gonna get welded up, right there, and then the same on the other side. But uh, that's one huge step closer to getting the body ready to uh, ready to chop. Next thing, I'm not really sure how these went together. I'm not sure if there was some sort of wood or something that hold, holds that. It could be the visor, per se, that holds that on there. I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully we could tackle that next. And uh, if we get this thing all mostly together, we could probably go ahead and chop the top, the uh, three inches that I want to do. So, uh, yeah, coming along good. Got that old piece cut out of there. Um, I really don't think I'll have to use that again. So I got all the contours matching really good, everything like that. And, uh, looking a lot better. You guys could just, you could already tell it's looking a lot more like a car. So. complaints with that put some gas in it gas is very expensive because it takes premium but uh back here in the shop working on the model a again it mainly just needed some welding wire but uh now that i got the back window all tacked in there um i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can't get these front uh these front pillars mounted on there so they go somewhat like that probably tack those to this bottom piece here then we'll see, uh, definitely got to do both sides. Then we'll see if the doors, you know, fit better or whatnot. And then I uh, still got to figure out what the heck goes here. But um, yeah. We'll okay, see. guys, I uh, got this thing turned around and I got these welded up there. They're just, uh, just tacked, got both of them. So now you can see it's actually somewhat, you know, following the contour. So that's a lot better and uh, so next thing we're gonna do is start cutting this firewall out so I'm putting a v8 in this obviously and this firewall just is not gonna work so of course the firewall really is only up to here when this is at the actual gas tank so hopefully I don't explode that thing's been open for a long time so I I really doubt that there's anything even in there but uh if I'm gonna cut it out or if I'm just gonna drill these rivets the rivets that go down on the side they hold that firewall piece in but no matter what the gas tank does have to get cut right there so we're gonna go ahead and start working on that and uh, we should be able to get it cut out and uh, we'll go from there <laughs> Okay guys, this is where I'm going to leave off for the night. Got quite a bit done today. Um, got the whole firewall cut out of there. Got the uh, gas tank cut out. Got my dash looking pretty good. And uh, got rid of that rat's nest. Weird thing is, I don't know how...
they were getting in there. Because, I mean, if he fell in through here, I mean, there's really no way out. So I'm not sure how he was living in there, but we'll figure that out later. And uh, I had this roof lying around, and I think it's going to work out for us pretty good. Um, it's a little small on either side, but I think I could just fill that with some sheet metal. And uh, But yeah, the roof is looking pretty good. It does have a smooth side to it. I'm pretty undecisive right now whether I want the, the uh, bead rolls in it or if I just want a smooth top. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it off. I think tomorrow we're probably going to work on getting some of this stuff cut out of there. Um, uh, that whole back thing is just going to have to go to make room for me to sit in there and all that. So we'll probably start working on that tomorrow. One thing I did find that I thought was pretty cool is when you crack the windshield open a little bit, it has these vents and they go in right there in front of the dashboard. So you just have fresh air coming right out of the dash. I thought that was pretty neat. But uh, other than that, like I said, the uh, firewall was pretty easy. It just had, um, <clears throat> I think it was just some rivets on the side. I drilled those out and then the gas tank was a little bit tougher. Had to get that cut out and everything, but it wasn't too bad. And then the windshield was really easy to remove too. It's just got like a special little groove here that it kind of slides just slides in there and slides right back out so it was really easy to get that out but uh yeah like i said that's probably where we're gonna leave it for the night and we should be back out here tomorrow and uh we'll get some more progress on it so we'll see you guys in the morning all right guys we're back the next day i uh still got a mess out here as you could see so <laughs> i uh definitely gonna have to get that cleaned but i had this roof laying around and i i just don't think it's gonna work out for me even though it's got the the bead rolls in it it's just too small on either side definitely long enough just too small on either side so i have another car and i think it might work it's kind of unfortunate that i have to top it but i mean my, my cars are already in poor shape so i really don't see a reason why i wouldn't cut it so it's this one right here. Uh, that one has a pretty nice roof on it and the contours look pretty good. I just measured it, it's definitely big enough. So I think what we're gonna do is just chop it. We're gonna cut the roof off of it and uh, I'll just lay something on there because I actually have a bunch of parts in there, but I'll just lay something on there and we will, we'll see if that one will fit. Hopefully it does because it'd be a waste to kind of cut that car to to pieces if it doesn't work on here but like i said it's just sitting there and one of these days it'll probably just get scrapped because it's already been stripped of parts and everything like that so we'll probably just use that roof and uh this one probably just i'll probably just use this roof on that car so nothing gets wet in there and it should work out pretty good so uh i guess gotta drag a few extension cords out there and some stuff like that and we'll get cutting and then hopefully it'll fit on here. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I got the roof cut off of that car and I got it brought up in here in the shop and it really looks like it's gonna work out for us. It's plenty big on either side. Um, I mean, it's got plenty of meat to cut around and you know, why not the, the contour, everything like that. Seems like it's gonna work out great, so. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and line it up the best I can, get it all centered in there, and then I'll uh, mark it all out and chop it and see. Uh, hopefully I could get this all done in one seam, not, not too big of any gaps or anything like that. So um, probably do a time-lapse thing and we'll see where we can get with it.
Okay, I got the roof uh, mostly cut. I haven't cut it quite all the way just to leave a little bit excess in case I do need it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wait to get the visor before I finish this just to make sure everything up here is going to line up good. And then, uh, but most of the way you could see everything matches really good with the contours. You know, the curves are all good, everything like that. So I think this top is going to work out for us. And uh, like I said, I just got to cut the access off and then uh, it'll be ready to weld in there. But uh, just not quite sure about this. Probably going to do some more research on it. And then uh, if it is... If it just needs some more sheet metal there or something, then I'll just go ahead and finish it off with the roof and then I can build something here that's not too big of an issue. Okay, I did some research, found out the visor, of course it bolts here on the sides, and it only comes up to right there. So, I mean, I'm assuming the canvas kind of took care of that piece or took care of this piece, but uh, I got this metal cut out here that's going to fit pretty much like that and then i'll get this front contour cut once i get this back side welded on but um that's pretty much where we're at right now so we're just going to get this welded on and we'll go from there Okay, that's that piece all welded in there. You can tell it looks pretty darn good. I gotta come up there a little bit, both sides, right on this corner. But that won't be too hard to do until I got this side lining up good. So it's not dipped right here in the middle or anything like that. You can tell from up here too, it has that nice straight contour right there. Everywhere else is good too. Well, another spot I see is right there. But that won't be much to do. Once we get this in, we can match this contour to the roof. And then we'll be good from there. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side. But for now, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. And um, hopefully in the next one, we'll be able to uh, get that top cut all the way. And then we'll get it welded in there. And uh, we'll be one step closer to getting this thing chopped. But... Um, for now, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and um, have a good one.